tibihay Makisabay, matut at maglakbay sa tibihay Teleradyo, TVB ay ang inyong kaagapay Patungo sa ating pangarap at tanumpay Tara na at maglakbay sa Hello, 7th graders! Welcome to TV High, the school on the air program of Tagum City National High School. We are glad to be with you in this new normal journey of schooling through radio broadcast. I am your teacher host, Teacher Chini May V. Bernardino. How are you feeling right now? I hope that you are all excited as you learn a new and fun-filled lesson particularly in Grade 7 English, Quarter 2, Module 2. This episode will help you to use an electronic search engine to locate specific resources. Before we begin, I would like you to prepare your modules, your notebooks, and your pen, and be happily seated in the comfort of your homes. For today's episode, topic is brought to us by our teacher broadcaster, Marian D. Jalon, from Tagum City National High School. Hello, dear students. I hope that you are all healthy and well while listening to our program today. Now that you are settled in your homes, bring out your pens, notebooks, and your learning materials, specifically in Grade 7 English, Quarter 2, Module 2. Are you now ready to learn a new lesson? That's great! Here are our learning objectives for today. Towards the end of our episode, you are expected to Define what an electronic search engine is Identify popular electronic search engine in the world Search informative articles about a given topic And create a written reaction about current event in today's generation, technology has deeply changed the way we look for specific resources. In locating information, technology has indeed done a great job in making things easier to do in a shorter amount of time compared to doing it manually. However, the problem may occur if you don't know what to locate or how to locate information. Today, we will discuss the use of search engine to locate specific resources and how it will become a great help to easily access information. Before we begin with our discussion, let me give you a short activity on how to use an electronic search engine to locate specific resources. I will only read the statement twice, so I want you to listen attentively. You are given 5 seconds to answer each item. Let's begin! Number 1. It is defined as a global network of computers. A. Browser B. Website C. Internet D. Search Engine It is defined as a global network of computers. A. Browser B. Website C. Internet D. Search Engine The correct answer is letter C. Internet Very good! Internet is defined as a global network of computers. Moving on with the item number 2. A tool that can help you access the World Wide Web. Some examples of it are Google and Yahoo! A. Browser B. Query C. Search Engine and D. Website A tool that can help you access the World Wide Web. Some examples of it are Google and Yahoo! A. Browser B. Query C. Search Engine and D. Website Time's up! 
The correct answer is letter A, browser. Great job! Let us proceed to number 3. A collection of web pages which are included to one domain or owner. A. Internet B. Website C. Query And letter D. None of the options is correct. A collection of web pages which are included to one domain or owner. A. Internet B. Website C. Query And letter D. None of the options is correct. The answer is letter B. Website Very good! What a keen observation you have there! And for our last number in this review, it is a word or phrase you search in a website. A. Search engine B. Website C. Query And letter D. Internet It is a word or phrase you search in a website. A. Search engine B. Website C. Query And letter D. Internet That's correct! The answer is letter C. Query Wow! What a great achievement to start this lesson! Now that we are done with our initial activity, I guess you are all excited to learn a new lesson in this quarter. Let's proceed with our discussion. Let me ask you, what is an internet? The internet is a global network of computers. It is millions of computers around the world which are all connected. People often think of internet as a cloud in space. In reality, every computer in the internet work or internet is connected by actual wires, ethernet cables, phone lines, and fiber optic writing on the ocean floor. Next, what is a web? People often use the words the internet and the web interchangeably. Is there a difference? The World Wide Web is just one part of the internet. The internet also includes email, instant messaging, multiplayer gaming, and FTP which means peer-to-peer -peer file sharing. Now, what is browser? A browser is a tool you access in the World Wide Web. How about a web address? A web address is the identifying address for a file or web page on the internet. Typing a web address into the browser bar or address bar allows you to access this file on the internet. Another word for web address is URL. For example of the web address is www.google.com How does a website differ from web pages? A website is a collection of web pages that belong to one domain or owner. While a web page is a single document which can include images, videos, charts, etc. viewable through the browser. What is search engine? A search engine is a program to help find web pages on the internet. Search engines do not search the whole web, but only an index of the web. Some examples of search engines include Google, Yahoo, Bing, and Ask. Here are the list of top 10 most popular search engines in the world. Earlier, I have mentioned Google, Bing, Yahoo, Ask.com, what's your question? Completing the list of the 10 most popular search engines are News, Sports, Weather, Entertainment, Local, and Lifestyle Baidu, Wolfram Alpha, DuckDuckGo, Internet Archive, and Yandex.ru Take note the search engines presented above may serve as your options in navigating and searching for more. Now that we are done in unlocking the essential terms and ideas which are helpful for you to take the next level of this lesson, 
This time, let me help you to get to know the parts and functions as well as the possible results that you may see in your screen as you start searching. The first step to do is entering a search. In searching, you should open this part first, the home page. Second step is to say or look for what you want. Type into the search bar the word phrase or sentence that you want to look for. As you can see, there is a blank rectangular shape at the middle of the homepage. Please take note that query is the word or phrase you search for in any search engine. What actually matters in your query? Consider the following. Number one, every word matters. Try searching for who, the who, and a who. Number two, order matters. Try searching for blue sky and sky blue. Number three, capitalization doesn't matter. Try searching for small letter Barack Obama and capital letter Barack Obama. Number four, punctuation does not matter. Try red colon, delicious, exclamation point, apple, question mark, and red, delicious, apple. Did you get that? I hope that you have taken down notes on that. Let us now continue with our third step, which is to specify your search tool. All images, news, Videos, shopping, and more are some of the keys that you may use to find results, which are all listed down below the search tools. We have here some tips for better searches. Number one, keep it simple. Describe what you want in as a few terms as possible. Number two, think of how the page you want will be written. Use words that are likely to appear on the page. Number three, use descriptive, specific words. Avoid general or common words. Now that we are done with our discussion on how to use an electronic search engine to locate specific resources, let us see how well will you perform in this activity. What you are going to do is to choose the letter of the best answer and write on a separate sheet of paper. I will only repeat the statements twice. Shall we begin? Alright! Question number one. What do we call the program used to help find web pages on the internet? A. Browser B. Website C. Search Engine D. Internet What do we call the program used to help find web pages on the internet? A. Browser B. Website C. Search Engine D. Internet Time is up! The correct answer is letter C. Search Engine What a way to start our activity! Good job! Moving on to the next item. Question number 2 in order for you to access the World Wide Web, what kind of tool should you use? A. Browser B. Website C. Search Engine D. Internet In order for you to access the World Wide Web, what kind of tool should you use? A. Browser B. Website C. Search Engine D. Internet Time's up! The correct answer is letter A, Browser. And for our final question, Clara wants to do her homework, which is to find the different types of animals using an electronic search engine. What would be the first step that Clara should do? A. Choose a search tool B. Enter her query C. Look for results and D. Open a home page. Clara wants to do her homework, which is to find the different types of animals using an electronic search engine. 
what would be the first step that Clara should do? A. Choose a search tool B. Enter her query C. Look for results and D. Open a homepage Time's up! The correct answer is letter D. Open a homepage Alright! And that wraps our very quiz for today. How well did you perform in the activity? Did you get them all correctly? That sounds good! I have high hopes that whatever your score is, keep in mind that it should not define you as a person. Everyone has a different pace when learning new things. Keep learning and keep growing the knowledge inside of you. If ever you have difficulty with our topic for today due to some technical or personal reasons, you may replay this episode on our official YouTube page that is TCNHS TV High. And now for your assignment, answer the remaining activity on Let Us Remember on page 13 and Let Us Assess on page 14. Kindly put your answer in your notebook for checking at a time, set it on the weekly home learning plan. I hope that you learned a fun-filled lesson from our discussion today. Stay tuned next week for a discussion on navigating website using essential features. Let us turn you over now to Teacher Chini. Till next time, goodbye! That was great! Thank you, Teacher Marian. Thank you, students, viewers, and listeners for tuning in. I hope you learned something today. For you to understand our topic further, you may do the exercises provided in your modules. You may also have an advanced study of your topics to prepare yourself for your next lesson. Please make sure to be with us next session here at TV High, the School on the Air program of Tagum City National High School. This is the radio host, Teacher Chini. Makisabay, matuto, at maglakbay dito sa TV High. Keep safe everyone. Have a great day ahead. Goodbye! Hi, makisabay matutot maglakbay sa TV high.